Also, uh, I want to talk about the the young lady who uh, got stuck in Dubai. Is she still in Dubai? Let me go look. That's the first thing I want to talk about because that was on my list, but I didn't pull it. I didn't pull it up. Uh, for yelling, for yelling at the man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Black woman in Houston. Here it is, right here. I'm gonna start here, and we're gonna keep going. So I, ain't, I'm not gonna even ask y'all where I should start. But shout out to my Patreon. Shout out to my Facebooks in the building. I see y'all. Shout out to all my supporters. I love each and every one of y'all. But I was late, and I'm trying to get started on this show because you know we're gonna be here for a while. Now, um, this lady right here, this lady right here, black woman from Houston detained in Dubai for screaming in public. Tierra Young Allen had her passport confiscated and has been in custody for the last two months. Where is Biden? Where is Kamala? Where is Donald Trump? Where is the people to get the girl out to Dubai? Like everybody going to Dubai riding motorcycles and camels and stuff. And now she is in Dubai. She is stuck and nobody is helping her get out. Like this young lady, according to the local news station, KRIV, okay, Tierra Young Allen, she says she's a social media influencer who goes by the moniker Sassy trucker oh let me go to her instagram they didn't give me the instagram did they y'all know i love me some going to the instagram hold on this her right here y'all this the stat oh, hold on she had posted something is she home she was in dubai there she go right there sassy trucker she is in dubai and she been in dubai for a while wait a minute this thing this was edited four days ago she must be home they said she deserves what she got keep her out there no nah, why they doing her like that Hold on, let me see. Free sassy truck. Like somebody is running her Instagram page. Somebody said, message to all you. Ooh, black women haters. Wait, let me go back. What what is this message? On YouTube, making fun of the sassy trucker for not get, trying to get extorted when the next mass shooting happens or the next police officer kill an innocent black man or the next P-U-S-S-Y black man lets a non-black man choke him out of subway. I hope black women keep the same energy. What is it? Why are y'all blaming us? Okay, let me go ahead and start with the story first. Child, I done gone down the rabbit hole. I already haven't even started the story. Let me go <laughs> down the story. Sassy trucker, Tierra Young Allen. She had her passport confiscated while in Dubai. Okay, she was in the United Arab Emirates' largest cities. And, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't pronounce some country. Anyway, her mother has expressed concern because, um, you know, she's being detained in a foreign country. And they're saying that it can also result in prison time. Baxter said that Alan's trouble began when she got into an accident with her friend in a rental car. OK, they had some minor damage. They took the car back to the rental car place. And apparently the man at the rental car place was yelling and screaming at her. And she screamed back at the man. <laughs> when she screamed back at the man, because she was like, why are you talking to me like that? I'm just, you know, this is my mind, okay? Why are you talking to me? Now? Don't be raising your voice at me. You don't talk to me no any kind of way, honey. I, I, I rented a car from you, okay? We bought the insurance and everything. You can't be yelling at me. So she raised her voice back at him, and he called the police on her because she was violating a crucial law in, uh, in Dubai which was women cannot raise their voices to men. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she found out that she could only receive, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me see. Alan was asked to make a payment to retrieve the rest of her belongings and the store associate yelled at her and she screamed back. She found out she could only retrieve those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. She dealt with a very aggressive individual, a young man there who was screaming at her. Now, she is in jail for one reason and one reason alone. She raised her voice in a country that a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. They have a strict law system that is really based uh, in their country. Oh, what y'all saying? See, you got to uh, know where you visiting. You do, you do. Especially like Dubai, like half the people, you got to be covered up and stuff. And some people be not covered up and be like, I don't want to go because I might be breaking the law. And it, I, I look inadvertently, I don't know. It's like you showing too much cleavage. You showing too much this. Uh, learn the law and rules before you enter the country. Okay. 
they do make Dubai look glamorous. Their laws don't have to make sense to us. Okay, amen to that. But um, okay, now she's working with Quanell X. Y'all know who that is. He's a community ac activist in Houston. I don't know what he's gonna do about Dubai because he's in Houston. Okay, but Quanell reiterated that the inequality is the basis for Allen's detainment, and that is that he is reaching out to the authorities in the UAE. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. It's not fair and it's not right. I've reached out to the Dubai consulate. I've reached out to the American consulate there in Dubai. I've also reached out to the U.S. and the UAE embassies. I am awaiting responses, he said. Also, uh, her mother has retained an attorney in Dubai. And if found guilty, she can face jail time oh my god oh i don't want to go i don't want to go i don't want to go this is a mess hold on let me go back to her instagram what that said uh bruh y'all are wild in my tiktok talking about sassy trucker saying she acted ghetto so she gets what she deserves and these wild accusations mind you there are grown ass men who didn't read the facts and only making noise <sighs> I mean, it's unfortunate. We already know that women are considered second-class citizens in some countries. It's not right. It's not fair. But how are you going to change uh, decades, perhaps hundreds of year-long laws in another country? Child, you in that country, you did something, and now you, I don't know if she has to suffer the consequences, but she need to call whoever Brittany Griner calls. Somebody get her out. Somebody get her out. Now she is in all the news. It says detained overseas. TikTok star Tiara Allen held in Dubai accused of screaming at rental car firm for refusing to return uh, things. And here go people are sharing it on social media. Now, I'm trying to see when she got to be a star child. She is okay. She was driving all the cars in Dubai. So she been in Dubai, honey. That's 2020. She was in Dubai in 2020. Oh no, she was. That was a trucker. Okay, she was in CNN. A TikTok is filled with videos of her working on her truck or sharing tips on how to dress and eat healthy on the road. Okay, she's a trucker, trucker. Oh, that's that's nice. Okay, that is real nice. Okay, I I just wish her the best. Now she was in Dubai, so they got pictures of her in Dubai, and that's you know she's been there for a couple of months. But this picture was posted, what, June 9th? She's been there since June 9th. Oh, gosh. I don't know. It's sad. Um, and, I mean, we are sitting around. There's a lot of people online saying, you get what you get. You shouldn't have raised your voice. But what if she did raise her voice but a little bit? What if it was her word against the man's? And the man is, is who they, you know, look to as telling the truth. You know, they, they again, they, they think of women as second-class citizens. It couldn't be me. I ain't going She actually had taken a year off to travel on. Uh, Nadia said, where is Houston, Texas activist Dr. Candace Matthews? She is the National Minister of Politics and member of the New Black Panther Nation. Y'all keep saying all these people. What is these people going to do for Dubai in Dubai? Like, are they like ambassadors? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because this is like overseas. <sighs> Anyway, I feel real bad for her too. I hope she get, you know, I hope she doesn't get any jail time. I hope they work it out. I hope they just send her ass home. I hope she, you know, maybe she'll have to pay a fine or something. But yeah, you know that they are about, you know, if you steal something, Dubai, they talk about cutting off your hand and stuff like that. So they don't play. They might whoop or whip or something. They, you know, it's crazy over there. But anyway, thank you uh, so much, Nadia, for the uh, cash app. I, I appreciate you. Uh, they have major connections, even overseas. Okay. Well, listen, I don't know. Listen, I don't know. Phaedra and her law degree need to be <laughs> moving on. Look, protect black women, okay? Even the black women who raise their voices over in Dubai because it's such an unfortunate situation. And the way y'all be acting here in the United States, y'all know it could be either one of any one of y'all at any time, okay? Y'all be raising y'all voices. Y'all be on speakerphone talking loud and everything. So it could have been you. <laughs> Anywho, moving on. Like this video as you come in here, please. And thank you. <laughs>